And welcome to another episode of The Doe Show for Monday, August 13th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really great show for you today. Uh, there was a couple of shows this past weekend in Edmonton, and Dragging Our Heels was out to catch all the action for the YouTube channel. Yeah, we were. On Saturday night, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose put on a new pageant called Mask for Mascara. Uh. Uh, it was at Evolution Wonder Lounge, and uh, hosted by a few of the members of the Upper House of Reign 42, the uh, Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose. Um, they had a mini pageant, shall we say, for a mix mask and mix mascara. Yeah. Uh, the mask title went to um, the monster drag, and then the mascara title went to um, the androgynous yeah, drag. Yeah, androgynous drag. Yeah. Uh, you were at the show. What did you think? Um, it was wonderful, fabulous. There was lots of great makeup, some wonderful looks and costumes. And uh, definitely we can say we're happy with who won. Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely well deserved. Shayla Zahn LaRue did a fantastic number, Hello, I Love You. And she looked gorgeous, as she always does. But she also uh, had like this... The Joker smile. Yeah, like it was crazy, <laughs> like this demon mouth, like a just flip top head. I didn't know what was going to happen. It was crazy when she walked down the stairs. I was just like, Ugh. like there was just like legs, body, teeth. And I was just like, Grotesque. oh my God. Anyway. Uh, Grotesque. Yeah. In the best way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Gorgeously, <laughs> gro gorgeously gross. Uh, but yeah, it was fabulous. And and she ended up winning the um, MX uh, mask for the, for the monster drink. Mix mask. Mix mask. Mishmash. <laughs> Which we always want to say mishmash. Yes. It's because we're old and uncool. We don't get these mishmashes. Exactly. Exactly. That's why this is. <laughs> and then the winner of Mix Mascara. Yes, that was the one. Uh, went to our very own Miss Indecisive. Yay! Uh, she did a fantastic version of, of Zombie. And uh, I just absolutely love that song. And I love... Uh, her hair, she was like done up in this huge mohawk and uh, she was obviously absolutely mm -hmm. living for it. There was so much passion that she was giving off. Oh and yeah, and she had a rhinestone jacket that she did herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were so proud of her. So congratulations to both of the winners. Um, some of the other people that were out competing that uh, we enjoyed were uh, Greg from Accounting, uh, mm -hmm. our fellow Cherry Popper was out, did Make Me Feel. Um, yes. Our girl Indigo did uh, Lollipop, Lollipop Luxury. luxury. Uh, I which, love that song. Yeah, I hate that song. Uh, but it was it was still a fun fun number, and, despite and me song. hating that song. So that says something. <laughs> and Indigo got some help from my sister wife, mm. Rexy Resurrection. Rexy <laughs> Resurrection. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it's true. Uh, it was a, it was a fun number. Uh, also competing in the monster drag category was a little demon boy, Hellboy, yes. uh, Juicy J. Uh, <laughs> yeah, did a fun little number of flesh, yeah, flesh and dressed as a demon. Yeah, it was it was cool. Uh, and uh, also performing somebody that we don't get to see nearly enough, and that's not nearly enough. Carmen Down. Uh, yes. We love you, girl, and it was so great to see you. I was so happy that I got to see you beforehand and give you a hug before you even made it on stage and everything else. Um, and yeah, she did It's Raining Men, and you've got to check it out. She... It's Raining Men! Exactly. So, Hallelujah. we love her. So, uh, yeah, so good to see all the contestants out. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, also performing that evening, though, we also had um, all the current candidates. The candidates for uh, Emperor and Empress for the 43rd reign. 43! Of the ISCWR. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, uh, oh my gosh. Emperor candidate David. David Dragon. Did did a pat he number pat. from Saturday Night Live. It's time for androgyny. And he did a, a version of I'm Too Sexy. Yeah, which was just absolutely hilarious. And yes. he absolutely nailed the performance. And, <laughs> and yeah, like I, I, I was living. I think I was one of the few people in the you bar were. that actually knew what was going on with you that were. character. You but, were. But yeah. But I, uh, it but translated yeah. well. It really did. Uh, Empress. Empress candidate, candidates. Uh, Morgan Fair did mm -hmm. a number. She did a slut like you. Right. You yes. love that one from her. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, Morgan. Morgan turned it out, and uh, Nova was also out. 
um, and did, yes, uh, she did. I'm, I'm a lady. I'm a lady. I'm a lady. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I had like a glitter beard, and and I, I've said it to a few people, and a few people said it to me. At least in the thumbnail, you look so much like Ruby Hyman. It's not even funny. Um, but yeah, I, there was a little bit of a Ruby vibe when I saw you that Ruby. night. But yeah, anyway, so I was I was but. joking that I was calling you uh, Ruby's little sister, Diamond. <laughs> yeah, he said that. Anyway. Diamond Hyman. Diamond Hyman. Oh. Yeah, anyway. Uh, anyway. But yeah, it, it was a fun number two. Uh, also representing the court, current um, uh, current princess, uh, Divina, Divina Die, Die For, for uh, had a... Had a little demon costume on. a demon costume, the devil costume. Um, the horny little devil costume. The horny little. <laughs> yeah, she's a little horny that night. And... Uh, Our Divina. Right? And yeah, it was a fun number. And uh, also returning was Jacques Strap. We haven't oh seen him gosh, in yes. over a year. You said maybe? over a year. We haven't seen a performance from him. So so good to see him back in town, and so great to see Renee. And uh, yeah, when I think of gender bender and stuff, I Renee's one of the like Jacques is one of the ones that I think of because of that's kind of always the style that he has brought forward since yeah. I've seen him. So um, yeah. So good to see him back, and he helped with a bit of the hosting and stuff too. Yeah. And anyway, it, it was, was a fun it was thing. A, it was a good show for Renee to be back at. Yeah, sure. exactly. So I hope we get to see uh, Jacques a little bit more over the coronation season and stuff like that. I'm yes. sure we will. Um, Sunday review, Evolution Sunday. Wonder Lounge, a very special episode. Very special. Connie Lingua's Everything and Anything Italian Queer Cabaret. I had to write that sucker down. Um, it was a totally Italian show. Like, if I can just... I was at, I was at the mm -hmm. show, and Connie Lingua did all these Italian numbers. Mm -hmm. It was Be Italian, uh, Mambo Italiano, mm -hmm. and the third one, you got it written down somewhere. Macchi Freddo Fa. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And Which I believe means, um, I know it was you, Fredo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Uh, the other... Uh, speaking of Italians, we had Twiggy come out as, as her favorite yeah. Italian, Liza with her a Z, Manelli. Um, and Twiggy even did one of my favorite Liza numbers, the Liza with a Z. Uh, and a new one, I think, that I don't yes. think we've had before, called City Lights. City Lights. So that was cool. Um, and then a number that I've seen Twiggy do a few times with a few different people, and yeah. I loved it, this version. It's always good. It's always good. It's always good. It's a fantastic people. number. Um, but yeah. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And it really was well done with these two, so yeah. congrats to them. Uh, Connie and Twiggy banged that number out. Um, we had a couple other performers that uh, came out from the burlesque world to, do, burlesque. Uh, to do some numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruby Ray. Yep. Did Seven Nation Army mm -hmm. and uh, and Darla Darwin did Don't You Don't like, You Pussycat Dolls exactly and it was super fun it was so fun like with the Doritos dust on her fingers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah it yeah. was it was yeah. oh it was everything yeah uh, <laughs> and she's the same one that um, did the uh, did the did, polar bear she did the polar bear so yeah it's too hot I, I love that she's she's really got. She's put a lot of thought into her into. Her, into I was going to say comedy, but yeah, well, that too, which it's we true. don't see a whole lot of true. camp burlesque. You don't think of that as a category. It's but. true. You don't see it nearly as much. Uh, Cherry does a little bit of that just because of the way her face mugs kind of thing. But uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, no, I agree. It's, it's camp burlesque. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I won't say clown. <laughs> That's drag. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so those are the videos that are now up on the channel. So you should definitely go check those out after you finish watching what we have in store coming up for you next on our channel. This weekend is huge. There are so many shows going on, it's not even funny. And we are going to do our best to be absolutely everywhere to film mm -hmm. as much of it as we can. On oh my goodness. Right? So it's crazy. Coming it's up. So, uh, <laughs> Anyways, go ahead, Ferris. <laughs> on Friday, at Fargo's Capilano, um, Sassy Psychboard has put together another show, and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. We, we really been, enjoyed the last we one. We did. We had a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to it. And there's quite a few people that are actually, that were in the last show, like... Uh, are they returning? Dean Monroe and Gigi and Shay Lazan, uh, nice. they were all in last time. Uh, some of the new performers, Lady Tenderflake's going to be there, Ryder Cunts is going to be mm -hmm. there, and Miss Indecisive. So 
that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so that's at 10 p.m. at Fargo's at Capilano. I, I think it's five or ten bucks. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll be always a good time. It'll we be really were there good last time. time. Yeah, we enjoyed the food and uh, yeah, they were very welcoming. Nice. So uh, definitely check that out if you are not at um, Evolution Wonder Lounge for oh, yes. Midsummer Night Dream Three. Featuring Morgan McMichaels! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2. Morgan McMichaels! I love Morgan. Um, I think she's absolutely fantastic and I'm so excited that she's here. Uh, I can't wait to go and, uh, and check out the show. Yeah. Uh, and there's some uh, fabulous local performers opening too. Uh, Nova, Nova Gina, Ivy, um, Vula Callis, Ivy Lee, uh, Myra Mains, and uh, Plastica. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic show, yeah, so if you well, don't have your tickets, you need to go get them, because I think there's a few left, but probably yeah. not very many, so get on those tickets. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday, the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center, starting at 1pm, you can vote for this year's Emperor and Empress candidates, as we were talking about when they were out performing the other day. Mm -hmm. We have David Dragon for Emperor, we have... Um, no Vagina and Morgan Fair for Empress. Uh, you can vote yes, no, one, other, all those kinds of things. You do what you do. I'm not getting into that. Um, go vote, though. Go um, vote. Um, whoever wins is going to do a fantastic job, and we look forward to working with them uh, next year and to work and help raise some money for their charities. There's a show afterwards. There's an in-town show. The in-town show. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I honestly am not 100% sure. We don't know who's in it, but we'll but, be there to film. Yeah, yeah. it's the Intan show. So it's going to be the Upper House and probably a lot of the um, friends and stuff of the Upper House doing their performances. Yes. Because next week when all the out of town people are in, they're the ones that are performing kind of thing. So oh. it's the fundraiser for the In Town show. Very nice. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So you should definitely check that out. Um, Hail Mary and Have Mercy is happening again this weekend on the Saturday as well. Um, Saturday night at 10 p.m. So book your table at Have Mercy Southern Table and Bar. Um, joining Sister Mary Join Pants this Mary. time. Uh, I believe for the very first time, Imani. I'm not sure whether she's been there before. Maybe once if she has. Plastica has been there before. Plastica. Uh, she's one of Sister Mary's girls. But there's a performer down here, Jean Benet Ramsme. Oh Doesn't sound goodness. familiar, might be new. Might um, be new to the but, scene. But yeah, anyway, I look. that sounds like that could be a fun debut. So Sky's gonna be there to film that for us. We are excited about that. We are excited. Sunday. Sunday. This is a busy weekend. It really is. It's yeah. the last day of the weekend. However, there are three events that we're talking about for Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> uh, there are actually two drag brunches going on this Sunday. Yes. Um, at the Yellowhead Brewery, there is the uh, Drag Brunch, a Midsummer's Day Drag Edition, mm -hmm. uh, put on as usual by Go Go Fetch from Homicidal, and this time she has members Jesse Hannibal. And uh, Chelsea Horrendous, I think, is making her Drag Brunch debut. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And again, this character, JBR, I'm assuming that's the same one that's mentioned on the page before. Uh, but anyway, she's going to be at the Drag Brunch, so that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, you should definitely check that out. There are two seatings, 10 a.m., 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. They might even be sold out. They often have been, but go check that yes. out on the Facebook. Find it. Yes. If you're not going to that one, you definitely should be go heading over to uh, the Mash Eatery and Public House at the Grand Villa Casino. Yes, for the Queen's Brunch. Yeah. And the Queen's Brunch has been taken over by Godiva and Kiel Mockingbird. Mm -hmm. They are hosting this month's Queen Brunch. And special guest performances on, on that one will be Connie Lingua mm -hmm. and Melinda Verga. Yay! Uh, we always had such a great time with Sister Mary Clarence when she hosted those, and yes, uh, we're super excited to see both uh, two of our favorites, Godiva and Tequila. Yeah, Godiva and Tequila hosting. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be really good. So you're going to be there. Um, yes. Thank you to uh, Godiva for, for setting us up with that. We are, we are excited to be working with you um, and uh, filming all the, the brunches to come. So uh, thanks for inviting us. Um, Sunday night. Sunday night. Get ready to rumble. Uh, the Royal 
the Review Royale 11. The 11th Review the Royale. The 11th one. So, this one's a Summer, summer Royale. Mm -hmm. They've got listed. Um, always really great. It's going to be hosted by the previous winners. Yeah. Princess and Creme Brulee. So that'll be really exciting. Uh, they've even announced some of the people that are going to be performing. Uh, Robin Banks, Lady Arcana, Sephoria, Colin Bay, and somebody that we don't know, Rouge Fatale. So we're excited about yeah, that. I mean, I think I've got my money on my drag husband, Colin Bay. He's going to mm -hmm. win it all. Mm -hmm. My hubby, you better, if you're watching this, you better win that review right <laughs> now. Because this husband's not making any money, so you better. <laughs> you have two wives to support, girl. Like <laughs> This husband's not doing his share. He's, he's not doing his share. He's not doing his bacon. Exactly. Exactly. I love bacon. Bring me some bacon. <laughs> Are you aching? Or some bacon? Yo, yo. Um, all those shows and maybe more are coming your way because that's not even the only things that we're filming this weekend. Uh, this weekend we're also filming two, if not three times of, uh, no, twice of, of Lil Fair's new play at the Fringe, Bushes in the Basement. Yes. Um, we're seeing it three times, but I'm filming it twice. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, so you should definitely check out Lilith's Bush. play. It's going to be great. Bush is in the basement. Um, some of the other fringe shows that are coming up this week that had their previews at Evolution the other night during the Sunday Review. There was a Puddin' show, a Jacob Holloway show, Harun. Mm -hmm. um, the Weeping Badge, the Weeping uh, Badge. which was pretty funny. Um, and uh, is that how clowns have sex? Uh, which also was pretty funny. We actually did record them, but uh, we didn't post them because, you know, it's copyright and stuff. And anyway. So you have to go to the Fringe to see these Go shows. to the Fringe to see them. That's the yeah. point. They were funny. Take our word for it. Um, I also think that you should go and suggest... I'm also suggesting that you go see an all, an all new God is a Scottish drag queen uh, with Mike Delamont. Uh, I made a jab online about how I was super excited about seeing Morgan McMichaels and talking about how God is a Scottish drag queen oh, yeah. and her name is Morgan McMichaels. So, uh, no actual shade to Mike. Um, I think that's fantastic and I, and I, uh, if you find it, you should go see it because I, I hear it's going to be absolutely hilarious and I'm going to see what I can do to get there too. Alright, we have rambled far long enough. Alright, it is time Pick for the week. Picks of the Weeks. Um, we have picks of the weeks from two of our videographers as well. Um, I'll go with Sky. Mm -hmm. Sky's pick of the week was No Vagina, I'm a Lady. I'm a lady doing lady things. Uh, yes, Miss Indecisive uh, picked Indigo Lollipop Luxury. Oh, we love that song. One of us loves that One song. One of us. Um, my pick of the week has to go to David Dragon. I'm too sexy. Yes. Yes. No. And Ferris. Um, I'm actually going to throw one at Brayden. He said that uh, he didn't have time to take a look at everything, so he wasn't going to pick one. But I'm going to just for Brayden. I'm going to say uh, Down Under by Men at Work is his favorite video of the week. You should go look it up on their on their YouTube channel. That's his pick of the week. Okay. He's in Australia. Um, my pick of the week. I wasn't hundred percent sure. Uh, there was a couple that I was, I, and honestly, I just want to say Twiggy. <laughs> Any of the Twiggy numbers were because were it was just kind of like Twiggy. So I, I I was trying to decide between three Twiggy yeah. numbers. Uh, but the one that I went with, which I think I've even picked before, not as a pick of the week, but I've definitely promoted it before as one of my favorites. Uh, Liza with a Z. Uh, oh. It's such a good number, and, mm -hmm. and Twiggy just absolutely bangs it out, and she looks amazing. And Yay! Twiggy! Um, I also just want to mention that I, that I like tequila. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody else, please don't ever feel shafted if we forget to mention you. Uh, it is what it is. We're, we're idiots. I That's think we did okay this to. week. I think so. I think we named every person that we have well, a video for. We hope, but if we, we forgot hope. somebody, please, again, we're, 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 you apologize. That's never the intent. Our intent is never to talk about every show. We're not a review show. We're just promoting some of the videos that we have. Just go watch. Just go watch. 
Anyway. Or go online and make a post about it. Yeah! <laughs> we love that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, those dull boys suck. Yeah, they do! <laughs> Hashtag fake news! Bye! Bye. <laughs> like, share, subscribe.